Welcome to Pete and Hannah's Review Show, What's Next? The show where we help you figure out what to watch next. I'm your host, Pete Mitchell. I'm here with my great co-host, Hannah! Hello, people. On today's show, Hannah, we are mm-hmm. watching The Boy from the Heron. We're also taking a look at Godzilla Minus One. And we're looking at Wu, Silent Night. Wu is back, baby. But before we begin, let us tell the viewers what they should do. Pretty please leave a like and subscribe to any one of our channels. And leave a comment down below what you're watching this week. Comment down below. Hit the notification button and you'll get great content like this one. But not only this one, you will also get movie news. You will also get AFI Top 100 Podcasts. And you can get it via viewing it on YouTube or listening to it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Some great content coming up on the channel We've got the first annual watches on the 28th of December. Yes. We also have two great podcast viewing extravaganzas next week. We are going on Wilkie's Music and Podcast, Movies and, po- music, movies and music Podcast, and we're going to talk about Charade. 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 <laughs> Charade. Uh, starring Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn. Then... Next Thursday's special edition of Movie News, it's the Christmas Draft. Returning champion, Denny McCarthy. Oh. It's fine. We'll be back. And we've also got a special, special guest because it's Christmas. And I'll give you a hint. It's not Santa Claus. <laughs> but someone better. <laughs> uh, but before every episode of What's Next, mm-hmm. we'd like to tell the viewers championship movie belt holder yes. for 2023. Hand out for you, it is? It is, of course, John Wick, Chapter 4. And for me, it is Past Lives. Don't forget, every Monday we drop year going backwards, and this week we did 2018, and next week it's 2017. Let's get on to the reviews, and the first review today is The Boy... And And the Heron. And we're going to do the English um, version because that was what was showing our local cinema. Yes. Uh, The elevator pitch. A boy loses his mother. This movie is set in World War II. He goes to stay with his aunt, who his dad's started seeing. And then he sees a heron who guides him through the next couple of months. Reason to see this hen. It's Studio Ghibli Magic. It's him as a marquee doing some of his, you know, best work. This story is also very personal to him as well. And it's very interesting to see because he's done so many wonderful films like Spirited Away and Hasmund Castle and Princess Mononoke. And it's great to see this film. Did you do Ponyo as well? Yeah, Ponyo as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's incredible. It's got an incredible voice cast. I think it's one of the better... Better cast. Can in I a movie? read out the English? Of voice course, cast? of course. Uh, Christian Bale, uh, Dave Bautista, yep. Gemma Chang, mm-hmm. uh, William Defoe, <laughs> uh, Mark Hamill, yes, uh, Florence Pugh, yes, the Pugh, and an unrecognizable Robert Patterson. The Robert Patterson is probably one of the best voice acting performances. <laughs> Amazing. He came with like. Our whole idea of how he was going to sound. He had voice recordings and memos. He went in actually trying. This was his first time doing a voice acting role. And he gave it a lot. You could not recognize him. He took inspiration, of course, from the original um, Japanese um, uh, voice acting. And was like, yeah, I've got to do something similar. And so he really went for it. And he was incredible. Reasons not to say this. I'm not a fan of Japanese anime, but I did find the viewing not too bad. I, 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 it was a bit of a slog for me. I, for me, it was a slower than some yeah. of his others. He does it have, was slow. They do all, I find that some, if not most of his movies start off really slow, but I found this one particularly slow in most of its, in just most of it. it was just but if you slow. like this uh, genre, you will get a kick out of this. I, I, I found it visually stunning. I was right. saying to Hannah, like, all through this movie, I was like, God, <laughs> is these movies like this all the time? Like, yes. I, I've probably only seen, like, Spirit of Away and the Ponyo one, and I saw the... Susan May? 
Oh, uh, Susan May is yeah. not studio. No, 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 but that's I, a different studio. But, but I saw Susan May like as a Japanese yeah, anime yeah, so yeah. I think, earlier this year with you. That's probably I've only seen a handful. I quite enjoy them. Like a visually stunning, great voice work. I love yeah. what Patterson's bringing, as Hannah said. Um, but yeah, reason not to. It definitely is long, and the story you can see where the story's going to straight yeah. away. Uh, Hannah, should people watch or miss this one in cinema? This is a definite watch. I think for fans of Studio Ghibli and him and Zamaki's work, you need to go see this. It's a, it's a, just a wonderful experience. Rather than, I would say, more of a wonderful experience in a movie. Cause it's... Hannah, rating for this movie? I'd give it a solid golf clap. It's just... Yeah, agreed. It's just a perfectly well-executed movie. And when you learn about the fact that, you know, him and Zamaki, it really takes from his childhood... And he's kind of like the boy and the uncle, there's a great uncle in it. And he's like, he, um, he's a Marquis mentor. And the heron is like his friend and who co, um, started the studio of Studio Ghibli. And so it's really interesting to go on this movie's history. The boy and the heron is in cinemas now. Mm-hmm. The next movie we're going to review today is Godzilla minus one. Godzilla. Uh, this is the first Japanese uh, Godzilla movie in, in eight years. Oh, yeah. Uh, they regretted not to do a movie while Legendary Pictures, a.k.a. Warner Brothers, okay, yeah, yeah. was doing their Godzilla run. So this is the first one. The elevator pitch, it is set just after World War Two in Japan. They're trying to rebuild after the dropping of the uh, bombs in Hiroshima and <laughs> Nagasaki. Uh, for those who have seen Oppenheimer, that was a sort of terrible... That was a terrible dig. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you follow uh, the main character who was a kamikaze pilot who didn't fail through his mission. He was shunned. Um, then he meets Godzilla. And then he becomes a bomb uh, blower upper. Like he goes and... Yeah, cleans up. Bombs. He's like yeah, a janitor. Minesweeper. Minesweeper. Yeah, minesweeper. A sea sweeper. Swing, swing, minesweeper. <laughs> And then you, all throughout the movie, you're, he's fighting Godzilla until yeah. it ends, where you've got a he's got a take on Godzilla. Yeah, he has, it's a personal story. He, meet, he meets a, a a woman that has adopted a child, and he sort of looks after them, and it's sort of their relationship growing in, yeah. in the movie as well. Uh, Hannah, reasons to reasons to Godzilla looks amazing. Okay. He looks so yeah. much better than what. What, all, what? It was so funny because the same week um, they just released uh, the trailer for Godzilla Kong, um, the the huge movie, and um, special guest, and uh, um, it's incredible to see that kind of looks absolutely trash. But then when you see uh, this movie, it looks stunning. Like Godzilla is incredible to look at, and you know what the best part of this movie is? What's that? The human element. Never ever is that it's, in a disaster movie oh, slash a monster it's movie. It's the best part. I was honestly, I was in tears. Godzilla was cool, but I was like, I'm done. Can well, we Godzilla get to? Godzilla looks cool. Like it's only only cost he, me 15 million I, to make. I'd and say it he, looks amazing. Not only that, he's quite um enjoyable. Like it, like he, how he works and how he like destroys the city. Oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Nuruka Oshi, she's amazing in it. Like she just you just want oh, just I just cried the whole it was, time. Uh, Koshi, uh, she, uh, she can be, I'm, I'm really bad Sorry for names. butchering. So sorry. But they're just amazing. Great acting. They all. were incredible in this film. And it's just, it, they have such this beautiful story about just finding um, a life after tragedy. And, and it's uh, incredible to see. Yuki Yamada, uh, Kuroko uh, Sasaki. He's so funny in this movie. I really enjoyed it. Yes. Uh, the Munato Okay character is really good in this one as well. Uh, there was no weak link when it comes to acting. It is a tour de oh. force when it comes to just absolutely giving you what you want when it comes to movies. Yes. Reasons not to see this, like people that do not like Godzilla. Actually, no, what? Uh, no, it, no, it doesn't no, no, matter. No, no, no. It doesn't it's, matter. It's, like, it's, it's probably uh, the reason not to see this is if you don't like if if you don't like feeling. Because <laughs> this movie makes you feel. It actually it, does. It really it's a really great just action monster movie. It also makes you think about um, post traumatic stress yeah, uh, in another way. It also makes you feel about like... family, how family can heal. It just, oh, I just love this movie. I, it's, <laughs> I think, I really think 
It's an absolute banger. And I think it's a yes, definite 100%. watch of the movies. I, I, it's an incredible I, I, I just love this movie so much. It's an incredible movie. Uh, the, the only negative, there's like, it leaves a little bit, spoiler alert, open at the end. You probably don't want to see that at an end of the movie. It, so it, that's the only thing that's stopping it from being an all-time classic, in my opinion. It is such a good movie. Yes. Uh, but sign me up for a sequel. Minus two, minus three, minus <laughs> 100. I'm there for it. Plus two. Uh, anything else to add, Hen? That I just cannot wait to see if they do more of these movies. Like, I cannot believe they were able to capture such emotion. And just World War Two. we're like... A similar movie that came out was yeah, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Yeah. And that was a different side on the effects of war. And then this one was effects of war and giant scaly lizard monster. So it was just an enjoyable film to watch. Godzilla minus one is on cinemas now. Now, for those who are listening at home on uh, Apple Podcasts or Spotify, they didn't get to see me jumping around, but our dog, Louis Vuitton, <laughs> snuck into our recording studio and just I don't know how he got in, but he's just a clever little individual. Trotted all around, and then I had to get up and usher him out. And uh, so, thanks, Louis, for another great interrupting of our taping. Our, He'll do anything for attention. It's all about attention for him. The next movie that we're going to talk about today is Silent Night. Yeah. Now, Hannah, this is directed by one of your favorite directors, John, John Woo. He is famous for directing a lot of Hong Kong action-based movies, but yep. really where you love him from is directing Broken Arrow. Yeah. Nothing Face else. The, hey, face off, oh, baby. What else? what else? And then, of course, my favourite and possibly the best Mission Impossible oh, movie. The documentary about pigeons in Mission Impossible 2? 2. <laughs> uh, no, it was, a, it was a whole, like, rainbow racing uh, scenario. Oh, Thank you very yes. much. Yeah, you know it. No, I absolutely love the genre. He loves to make an interesting film, I he will does. say. He does. Uh, starring uh, Joel Kinnaman from... He made the remake of Robocop. Suicide he also made Squad. Suicide Squad. Um, I think he did those who that. haven't, those who haven't um, seen it, um, John Cena kills him in uh, Suicide Squad. Spoilers in the Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad. Uh, the elevator pitch: You are a father, and your son gets killed in a drive-by shooting, yes. and you get hurt, and you're unable yeah. to walk, and therefore you are silent. But you decide to kill everyone that's involved and make it a solid night. Yes. Now, reasons to see this movie are the fact it's John Woo, so you got to put it in the belt. But uh, the film does take an interesting take on the whole silent. The movie is completely silent. There is bar almost no words. And any time there's dialogue, it is through text. And it's just interesting to see him come back and he's like, oh, I'm going to do a Christmas movie. I've never been a woo head, and this movie didn't win me over. Uh, reason not to see this movie is terrible. Joel Kinnaman is wooden in acting. It doesn't... Uh, not enough violence for me to overcome the fact that there's no talking. Uh, the story has I, so many holes I, in it. It's definitely <laughs> no, not watching the cinema, and it is... No, listen. Asleep. Can you listen before you just go off the head? You're like, oh, it's a terrible movie. He tried something different, unlike any other director, okay? He comes back, and he wanted to do something unique. I think it didn't we pay did off. the wrong actor. I, oh, I, I don't mind Joel Kinnaman, actually. I don't mind him. I think it didn't pay off. I think that he spent too much time building this... The sadness and story of this it. I great, wanted him to spend. This is the great thing about us and us watching movies. Like last night, <laughs> we, had, we were happy to see a movie called Eyes I Wide Shut. Wasn't happy Hannah, to see it. Hannah hated it. I absolutely despised I've it. I've seen it before and I loved it still. And then Hannah loves this movie and I. I know. I don't. It. I don't love this movie. I have problems with it. I found it completely so slow. I could not stand it. But. And then I found the action. I feel like we were you given... You tolerated this movie? Yeah, I did. Because uh, there was a bird at one stage. Um... <laughs> it wasn't even a pigeon. It wasn't, but it was a budgie. And it, it worked out. But the film, it, it, I think the action, I think, unfortunately, we've been blessed with such films like John Wick in the, this past year alone. And action can be done. Like, he came back and did, I don't yeah, know. This is poor something. man's wick. I feel like it was just, you know, maybe if 
there was an actual script yeah. rather than if he was silent and other people talked might have been a different story i can like Seriously, I cared more about the dog in John Wick than I did about a kid. Um, everyone ki- cares about the dog yeah, more than just, a kid. Just, that's I think why it, they... it's a failure of script writing and it's a failure of the I... performances and it's a failure of the director for getting script the writing. You out. can't call it script writing with this. <laughs> yeah, script writing is a script is or not. Only I know sound, it's the all... it's the actions, but yeah. you know there wasn't. There wasn't much. It was. Okay, it was. Do you want to give your vintage. rating for this movie? You no, no. I I agree with it's. It's. I, I fell asleep. asleep. Yeah. It's. It's an. I fell asleep. It's an ambitious oh, film. Oh, so all that, that yelling for what was that? No, because I don't want to attack a man that comes back. I want him to come I back and to, do more. Yeah, movies. yeah. Let him do Mission Impossible Ten. Yeah, hundred percent. What are you? What are you? <laughs> this is great. It'll be better than you've ever seen. That is it for today. That is all our reviews. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe to our channels. You can catch a review a day. You also catch the podcast where we did Yankee Doodle Dandy, the AFI Top 100. Movie news drops tomorrow. We also have the Blockbuster game. We also have Movie Championship Belt Holder. And we have Can You Guess a Movie? So for those YouTube viewers, stick around and you'll get the answer for this week's Can You Guess a Movie. Hannah, anything else to add on this wonderful show? Uh, that, you know, just give the woo another chance. <laughs> That's all I ask. Sometimes a director makes a bad movie. Thanks, Hannah. I really appreciate it. We give your people second chances. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that's my lovely co-host, Hannah. I'm your host, Pete Mitchell. <laughs> Until later, we catch up for movie news. It's bye for now. Bye. <laughs>